Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. I'm going to be doing two quite short readings today. I am still recovering from the energy of that full moon. It was very intense. I don't know about you, how you experienced it, but for me it was really intense. Not negative intense, but just intense. A lot of things got decided, got resolved in my life and people around me's lives in a good way bit difficult. It was difficult energy to go through and a lot of things are being decided and resolved in the royal family. Uh, that moon, of course, the full moon, the sun was in late Capricorn conjunct Pluto and that was what was so intense about that full moon. And of course Pluto is transformation, death, rebirth, all those scorpionic uh, energies, digging deep, uh, going to the root of things, purging, cleansing, and we've already seen uh, some quite surprising moves uh, with the royal family and none of them uh, abrupt. They have been going on in the background. The energies have been going on in the background. As far as I can tell, the results are what have surfaced uh, very recently during this full moon and of course the latest shock but a slow burning shock that's what I'm trying to explain with the Pluto energy is that Harry, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew have been or are going to be stripped of their status as royal councillors, a very prestigious status. The royal councillors are the ones who act on behalf of the monarch if the monarch is disabled for some reason or out of the country. And uh, it's a big deal. It's a massive deal. Uh, it requires an act of parliament in order to push this through, but they are in the planning stages of doing this to the extent that they have made it known publicly that Prince Harry and Prince Andrew are out. And as I say, this is a big deal. I am using the Shadowland Tarot for these two short readings. It's my go-to deck for uh, when people are behaving badly, really, when they're acting from their shadow selves. And um, yeah, Andrew, Harry, the spares with no purpose, as the body language guy likes to explain. And I think absolutely correctly, they have no purpose and they have too much money and too much time. Both of them a bit lacking in grey matter as far as I'm concerned as well. So not making the best decisions, not being guided by the best principles. Very unfortunate for the royal family. Of course, we are very prominent as the royal family is and are able to bring a lot of light into the world as the royal family potentially can. There is also a lot of darkness associated with shadow, particularly deep. And uh, that's what's going on with these shadow stories that are coming to the fore with the royal family now. Uh, and of course Pluto is what illuminates, what brings the shadows to the surface for purging and cleansing. So this reading, Harry and Andrew being dumped as a royal councillors, losing their status, that prestigious status, five card reading, the energy around it, how they individually feel, whether they saw this coming or it was a shock and uh, the outcome for them. Uh, and using, as I say, the Shadow Land Tarot and uh, Queen of Wands is the underlying energy, very decisive, very passionate action. Um, I think Princess Anne, fire sign woman, and uh, she's uh, very um, much seems to be the negotiator and the go-between. She allegedly was the one that went and told Prince Andrew that he was done, he was finished, they were taking away his HRH and all the rest of it. That was one of the consequences of this full moon. Now the next one is this royal councillors thing. I think it's Princess Anne who is the one who may be acting um, and making this all happen. Now, I'm sure that everyone else is on board because they do seem to be making group family decisions and the dog is very loud in his support of that theory. Um, but it looks like it's, this is Princess Anne who is the one wielding the, um, the sword, the knife here in the story. So let's see the heart of the matter for these two men. And we get the Five of Pentacles in the reverse being cast out, exiled. It's literally what it is, the Five of Pentacles. And in this case, I'm reading the reversal as being cast out into outer darkness without any hope of coming back into the fold. 
uh, everybody else happy dancing around the campfire there the strange poor bigfoot type of creature in the foreground here who was looking longingly at that family circle and uh, cast out cast out into outer darkness cast out into financial ruin it is very much the exile card and that is what's going on cards couldn't be clearer about the energy of this situation so let's see individually prince andrew how is he taking it how does he feel about it <laughs> i have to laugh justice card in reverse he thinks it's very unfair very unfair he hasn't done anything wrong he hasn't done anything to deserve this why is everybody being so nasty to him um we're probably going to have to go and cry a lot with that collection of teddy bears that oh my word that story just really blew my mind talk about pampered talk about no grip um no sense of reality the teddy bears all having to be lined up just so otherwise temper tantrums and tears uh really justice in reverse major arcana he really is feeling it he is this is an outrage for him outrage after outrage and uh, i don't think that he's going to cope very well with this mentally and emotionally um so that's prince andrew how is prince harry feeling about this uh, netflix nine of swords in reverse uh a nightmare an absolute nightmare um, I think it's something that has been dangling over him. He's been worried about it because this is the worry card. Sleepless nights, tossing and turning, stress and anxiety, uh, all those incy wincy spiders clambering down and uh, shiver shiver in bed. It's in the reverse as well and I would say in the reverse again. This is his worst nightmare that has come true. I'm not reading the reversals in this spread as improvement. I'm reading them as worsening situations for both of these men. So for Prince Harry this is just a nightmare and I'm sure that it is going to reflect very badly um, on him in Hollywood. And I'm sure that people who are dealing with him at a business level, Chimpo, whether he's their Chimpo or he is their Netflix, next Netflix star or expecting podcasts for him, or whatever they're expecting from Prince Harry, this is ruin, this is devastation because who wants that? Uh, on a Netflix documentary as somebody said on Tumblr I think it was they would watch the Netflix doc documentary if it was all about the ruin and devastation if it was about people booing and throwing tomatoes at the Harkles if they dared to appear on the balcony in June but otherwise no thank you and I'm sure that this is very worrying for Prince Harry who's going to read his book complaining about how nasty daddy was and a stepmom when uh, he has been so ruthlessly stripped of all his status his honors and status and basically his position in the royal family being removed from the website now an act of parliament i mean that's a huge deal to have to actually go and draft legislation and push it through parliament to get rid of these two the humiliation knows no end as far as i can tell and he knows it he knows it so the hidden energy in this reading was this a surprise or did they see it coming and we get the six of wands in reverse that's the bitter defeat card the humiliation and loss card no no ticket tape parade for you when you come to town now booing and hissing and rotten tomatoes i don't think it was a surprise i do, do think that uh particularly prince harry saw it coming prince andrew might not have Prince Harry might have had some inkling somewhere along the line, only possibly because lots of people have been complaining on social media about the fact that he lives in the US. And what is somebody who is living in a foreign country on another continent doing as a councillor of state? It makes no sense. And that has certainly been discussed ad nauseum on social media. So I think he was aware of it. I don't think Prince Andrew was uh, necessarily so aware, but for both of them, it's a disgrace it's a it's a total loss of face a total loss of status privilege humiliation um, absolute humiliation and the outcome for them and for the royal family for whoever temperance in reverse that's the devil energy when the temperance card is in reverse it is everything being out of balance out of harmony um, the stars no longer being aligned and you are really on a path on a doomed path when you get the temperance card in reverse you're just really not 
not acting um, from a place of wisdom and equilibrium. You're acting in a chaotic way. And the chaos is just going to get worse for both of these men as they, they proceed down these paths that they have chosen for themselves, these shadowy paths, temperance in reverse. It is, for me, it signifies illness as well, um, imbalance, mental imbalance, um, more than physical illness, physical imbalance. But it seems to me that they are both on a very rocky roads now, road to ruin unless they clean their acts up and difficult to see how they will uh, really recover from this very public loss of status now. And uh, it also for me says that the royal family has had it with them, that they no longer are willing to try and calm things, smooth things over, restore the peace and the balance and the harmony in the family. I think the royal family now no longer cares. They, they've sensed the mood in the a population and uh, they know that for their own survival they have to get rid of these people who are rocking the boat who are causing this level of difficulty and disgrace bringing absolute shame and dishonor to the royal family and so i think the royal family has lost patience with them temperance card is about loss of patience giving up uh, no longer working on something no longer trying to fix it and so I think uh, that card has many levels of meaning, but all of them very, very negative for the men involved. Um, so major arcana there and uh, the hand of Princess Anne seems to be uh, behind this particular move. Uh, she's had it clearly. Uh, she uh, is the one who uh, allegedly is organizing the Jubilee celebrations. And if those are to stand any chance of being successful and joyful and positive, then all of this needs to be sorted out now. Or at least the news needs to be released to the public that it is being taken care of, that the royal family is actually listening and acting at last. That's the reading. I'll see you on the next one.